Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you one method I use to try and make some money when dabbling in cryptocurrencies. So this is a pretty basic method, but it so far has worked fairly well for me. So I'm going to be demonstrating this on Bittrex, because this is one of the main exchanges I use. Uh, I don't use Bitfinex so much, but uh, or GDAX, um, mainly just Bittrex. So it's a pretty simple method. And here it goes. What I do is I go to either my wallet or to the main site and I click on percent change and go to the maximum negative percent change. What I then do is simply load a couple of tabs with these different really low percentile currencies and I have a look at their graphs. So I'll set it down to the most granular view I can and look at the graph. So in this case, this currency unfortunately is going to be delisted. But if we ignore that, so, uh, well, I should say don't buy a currency that's going to be delisted because you won't be able to do anything with it. Um, if you look at the graph, it's constantly descending over a fairly long period of time, but it seems to have started leveling off there. Now, where you can see where it has suddenly dipped from a level it's then come back up. So what I would do in this particular case is I'd probably put a little bit of money into it. Now the minimum on Bittrex is 0 0.0005 Bitcoin. Um, but even that on a currency that's only 24 cents per coin, that can get you quite a few coins. Um, and if the currency ever does suddenly explode, you've then got a, a sort of a safe buyer, small amount of profit. So in this case, I won't because this one's being delisted. But uh, you get the idea. I'll uh, show you on another one. So here we have Humanique. Uh, never heard of the coin before, but that doesn't matter so much. So in this particular instance, we see it had a peak. And now it's crashing. So someone did a pump and dump. They just stuck a load of money in there, waited for the prices to go up, and then sucked it all out again. So, yeah, um, this particular currency probably is unlikely to go up based on the history of it. But the reason I wouldn't invest in it right now is because it's still slowly going down and it's still not reached a point from before the pump and dump. It's still quite a significant amount higher. So I'd probably say that that's too much of a risk to put any money into right now. Um, let's pop on to another one. So here we have the unbreakable coin. That sounds uh, interesting. Now, one thing you'll notice with this coin is it's got a very strange trading habit. This usually indicates uh, there's a lot of automated trading going on because of how, well, <laughs> strange it looks the uh, sort of sudden very steep peaks and troughs. But if we uh, ignore the sort of outliers and look at the overall trend, this one seems to be extremely unstable and it's been consistently dropping for quite a long period of time. And right now at least, it's at a peak. So based on what's going on here, I probably wouldn't touch this one because it doesn't look good. I would actually maybe pop out a bit of the granular control just to see a longer history of what's going on. You can see it's had a few peaks and it's actually really quite high compared to what it normally is here. So this one I'd say is probably a bit of a risk um, based on the trends that have gone on here. So I wouldn't. Now we look at Faircoin. Faircoin, this is the 30 minute preview, which allows me to scroll out to several days. You can see it's in a constant decline, so I probably wouldn't touch that one. Here we have voxels, and if we zoom out, voxels, hmm, interesting. I'm concerned at the sudden jump here, and, and it's constantly crashing, and then sudden peaks, and then it constantly crashes again. You could potentially stick some coins in this because it might have a peak again. But if you miss that peak, because you know it's not a very long time period between that peak and it crashing again, you might be lucky because there haven't been any like really violent drops, but there are a few very strong peaks. Um, let's go on to something else. Whoops, what did I just close? Verge coin. Ah, yes. So 
here we have Dogecoin. This one's been doing really well lately. Um, this one's peaked over 150%. So you can see the very steep peak all of a sudden, but it's now started dropping. So if I go to a more granular view, you can see it, it's not looking great. So I actually put some coins into this uh, at 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.